Hello my friends, CJ here. We're back on the Death Knight, uh, continuing uh, our starting zone uh, experience. Uh, I did some recording beforehand and again, I don't know what's going on, but my system, the video was lost and really annoying. Um, I did the quest where we had to go into the new Avalon um, armory and grab the um, we grabbed the uh, new Avalon patrol schedule, and we also did the quest where we had to free uh, Coltira the Death Knight. Uh, I'm sorry that that footage was lost. Um, I have really getting annoyed with my computer right now. <laughs> but anyways, let's continue. All right, the cry for vengeance must be heard, Spear. Commander Plague Fist and a company of Death Knights are on their way to raise the Chapel of the Crimson Flame. If there are any Death Knights imprisoned out at the chapel, Plague Fist will get them out. You can still catch up to them if you hurry. The chapel is due west of here. Cool, let's do that. We do have this one. Speak your peace. Um, all right, the Path of the Righteous Crusader. Tear the hold apart. The schedule is there. Orbaz flips through the schedule. These worthless uh, Cretans have been busy. Northern patrol routes, southern patrol routes, western patrol routes, eastern patrol routes, but nothing about their courier's uh, routes. Uh, wait a minute. What's this? It looks like a western patrol route coming out of the western plaguelands. This patrol will pass through here today. I'm going to need time to plan. Leave me be. Okay. So, the chapel, yeah, the chapel is over this way. Oh, I do remember this quest. This is actually quite interesting. Our masters will be done. They're only flesh and bone, no match for the scourge. We didn't find any of our brothers, but we did stumble upon something special. We got here tore the place apart, and headed toward the prison house. We weren't expecting what we found in their spear. Seems the crusade's been real busy. The whole thing is full of Argent Dawn prisoners. Most of them were already dead by the time we arrived, but a few were still breathing. I was about to go in there and execute the rest of them, but I think you should have the honors. In particular, there's a real feisty gnome in there that I think you'll take great pleasure in executing. All right. It is actually somewhat depressing, actually, but it is actually pretty cool. Come to finish the job, have you? If you'd allow me just one spear? Spear, I'd recognize that face anywhere. What have they done to you, Spear? You don't remember me, do you? Blasted Scourge. They tried to drain you of everything that made you a pint-sized force of reckoning, every last ounce of good. Think, Spear, think back. Try and remember Nomergon before those damn trogs. Remember the feel of the Arclight Spanner, brother. We were champions of gnome kind. Listen to me, Spear. We must fight against the Lich King's control. He is a monster that wants to see this world, our world, in ruin. Don't let him use you to accomplish his goals. You were once a hero, and you can be again. Fight, damn you. Fight his control. I always thought it was very interesting that you kind of run off and you find, like, someone who knows you. I always thought that was kind of cool. Do it, Spear. Put me out of my misery. It's sad, but very cool at the same time, I think. Like, here's a person who knew you before you were an instrument of death. What? Felt good, didn't it? You're not one of them anymore, Spear. You're Scourge. You're one of us. Forever. 
Return to Thessarion at the Scarlet Tavern. Let him know that Colterra's cry for vengeance has been answered. The Chapel of the Crimson Flame will be a pile of ashes in a matter of hours. You're one cold-blooded monster, Spear. I salute you, brother. Another scourge victory. These scarlet dogs have nowhere to left to run and hide. It's only a matter of time now. Alright, cool. So we get, uh, let's see, we got some gauntlets. We've got a new sigil. Well, let's open up our characters because for some reason they can't distinguish replacing them, you know. Nah, anyways, it's annoying. Alright, we've got, let's see, oh, this sigil right here. Remove all movement and pairing effects. What is this one? Increase uh, damage dealt by your blood strike. Oh yeah, so we can choose which one we want. Let's see, escape effects of any mobilization. I'm gonna stick with, I think, the increased damage dealt by your blood strike and heart strike by 90, so I'm gonna keep that. And then we do have our uh, chest piece. Very cool. Ambush at the Overlook. While, you're, while you were out burning churches and murdering vermin, I've been busy formulating a plan. The Scarlet Courier is scheduled to pass by the Scarlet Overlook within the hour. The roads by the Overlook are wide open and swarming with crusaders. Use this makeshift cover to hide at the Overlook and wait for the Scarlet Courier to pass. When he's close enough, strike with all your fury. Cut him down and take his belongings, including his clothes. The Overlook is 200 paces east of here. Suffer well. This is cool because we get to like dress up as like foli uh, foliage or something, <laughs> if I remember right. It's pretty awesome. Let's see. Uh, let's just check our map. Yeah, right, right over here. All right, I think we're good. Can we do this now? You need to be in Scarlet Overlook. Oh, am I not in the Scarlet Overlook? There we go. How does this Death Knight have a human horse? I don't remember. Oh, I think it's because he's in the uh, Scarlet uh, Courier uh, clothes. I think that's what it is. Ambush at the Overlook. You're going to miss the Courier, and then I'm going to be forced to kill you. By forced, I mean I will take great pleasure in ending your life. Hurry up! Orbaz reads the message. Uh, the armies of the Hearthglen and Tirasphere will be marching into a massacre. Orbaz smiles. Now for the second part of the plan. You're going to deliver this message right into the hands of the general of General uh, Abendius. Abend Abendis. That's what the clothes are for. 
This message must reach Abendis. We do not want to draw their suspicion. They must continue under the assumption that everything is going as they planned. You will don the Scarlet Courier's clothes and, with the help of some dark magic, take on the form of the Courier. Abendis at the King's Harbor, southeast of the Scarlet uh, Overlook. Drop off the message and get as much information out of her as you can. She will tell us what we need to know about the Crimson Dawn. We will ravage this land. Cool. I don't remember this one as much. Oh yeah, there we go. That's how we're on a human horse. And all the Scarlet guys are all uh, friendly to us, so that's good. Where have you been? You are two hours late. We were about to send a courier out to get uh, uh, out to the High Commander. General High General Abendus reads the message. Damn it. The armies of uh, Hearthglen and Tirisville must not reach New Avalon. The Scourge will slaughter them all. Listen well, courier. The Scarlet Lands are lost. New Avalon and Havenshire are overrun by Scourge. The specter of death looms overhead and threatens to overtake us at any moment. Return to Galvar with this message. Turn your armies around and prepare your ships for travel to the frozen wastes. When next we meet, it will be in Northrend. Give this to Galvar. Abendis hands you a journal. It will explain everything. The Scarlet Crusade is no more. Long live the Scarlet Onslaught. Okay. So now we return. So the Scarlet Onslaught. Yeah, we run into the Scarlet Onslaught in uh, Northrend. Uh, pretty cool, actually. Uh, quest over there. Or the whole like quest chain that they've got going on. Northrend, Northrend questing is actually pretty fun. I really like it a lot. Um, I mean, yeah, it, the quest zones are pretty sweet. Lots of fun, especially um, Howling Fjord. That's usually my go-to when it comes to uh, questing in Northrend, so I'm looking forward to going back to Howling Fjord. It's going to be awesome. All right, the Scarlet Onslaught, uh, Onslaught emerges. Orbis laughs. What is this? Some child's coloring book? Orbis flips through the journal. What rubbish. This is the Crimson Dawn? They sail to their deaths. Let us turn our focus to the encroaching armies. We must prepare for the encroaching army spear. You will take what you have discovered to High Lord Mograine at once. I will open a portal directly to Acherus. Step inside and it will transport you. Give High Lord Morgrain Abendis' journal as well. Perhaps he'll find it useful. Cool. And here we are. Alright, did we get any new gear or anything? No, we did not. His eyes are upon you you did what? Times. You have become an instrument of doom, Death Knight. We will ravage these approaching armies and raise the dead as our own. Alright, another level. The trap has been sprung, Death Knight. The armies of Hearthglen and Terrasville have arrived, just in time to see their enclave in flames. If they turn back now, they fight us with their backs turned. The ah, shoot. I hit the wrong button. All right, what do we got to do? Uh, the Lich King awaits your return. He stands watch below us at Death's Breach. Okay, cool. So we're going to go down there. We've got some talent points I know that we can spend, so we're going to do that. 
Let's open up our uh, talent tree once we get off the platform. All right, we got. Dang, we got 25 talents. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. We did Ravenous Dead. Uh, what is this one? Necrosis. Your auto attacks deal an additional 4% shadow damage. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, on a pale horse. You become as hard to stop as death itself. The duration of all stun and uh, effects, fear effects used against you is reduced by 10%. Plus, your mounted speed is increased by. Yeah, we get like 20% mount speed. It's awesome. And then we're going to do three in the blood caked blade. Uh, two in Night of the Dead, to me, Crusaders, which now is Master of Gu Ghouls, and uh, it's now the the ghoul gets to basically become our permanent pet, which is pretty awesome. So that's that's gonna be cool. Uh, what do we got? Um, we've got Impurity. The attack power bonus of your spells is increased by four percent. So we do that, and uh, let's see. Uh, desecration. Your plague strikes and scourge strikes cause the desecrated ground effect. Okay, yeah, we do that. And let's see. Oh yeah, Ghoul Frenzy. Grants your pet 25% haste for 30 seconds and heals it for 60, so we're definitely doing that. And uh, let's see, we've got... The light has abandoned you. Okay, so we're good. We're good now. Okay, awesome. Now, can we... Let's open up our... We got uh, Raise the Dead. Oh yeah, see? We've got our little pet bar here now. So he is Worm Grinder. He is our minion. <laughs> That's awesome. You have served me well, Spear. The mark of the Scourge has been burned into the Scarlet Lands. You have reaped death and destruction for as far as the eye can see and delivered to me the last of the Scarlet Armies. The Lich King points to the ruins of Havenshire and the burning city of New Avalon. It is now time to finish what you started. You have slaughtered legions beyond number, and still your dark heart craves more. Your hunger knows no end, Spear. The Lich King pauses. There must come an end to all things, Death Knight. The Scarlet Armies make their final stand against us. For them, there is no escape, no choice. And for this reason, they will fight with a ferocity that you have yet to witness. Use the horn to call forth one of my worms. Oh, uh, yeah. Climb upon its back and command it into battle. With it, you will end the Scarlet Crusade. Awesome. Yeah, we get to, like, take command of one of the Frostworms, and then we just destroy, like, all... Of, like, we just go nuts on this remaining Scarlet Onslaught. It's pretty cool. All right, so this is Frozen Death Bolt. Fires a Frozen Death Bolt of energy, or at an enemy. And this is Devour a Humanoid. All right, so we have to kill 150 soldiers... And ten of the scarlet, like, uh, uh, like w war machines or whatever. All right, if I remember right. Yeah, we've got quite a bit around here. Oh, and I think we need to eat the people to, like, 
replenish. Yeah. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That happens. <laughs> okay. Well, that was fun. I was just having too much fun. I wasn't even paying attention to, like, my health. <laughs> well, that just shows you. You can still die. We gotta be careful where you res, though, too. You don't wanna, like, res next to these guys here. Oh my gosh! Look at that! Dang! That was instant death. As it would be, right? I mean, it only makes sense. I didn't realize. I think that's probably what got us the first time. Oh man, we're surrounded by all these guys. 40 seconds? Come on. Maybe we can go in here. Well, this is, I think this is like the last big quest, if I remember right. Then um, there's like a whole thing that we do after this, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think so. I don't remember. It's been fun, though. I mean, really, it's been a blast. I've really enjoyed um, reliving, uh, you know, being a death knight. Okay. Oh, my. Dude, we are like... Hmm. Okay. Well, this is interesting. The moment we step out, these guys basically kill us. This is, uh, fun. Two minutes. Oh, come on. Alright, we're gonna wait out this two minutes, and then, um, yeah. And I'll be back. Alright, guys, uh, we're gonna attempt to resurrect now. Okay. Yeah, six minutes until release. That's ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I, I think we're going to have to take... Yeah, I think we're going to have to take fuck, freaking, like, resurrection sickness. Because there's, like, no other way. My gosh. Okay. Well, that sucks big time. Let's, um... Let's do this. Oh, these fools are back. Five out of those ten things. Oh, I didn't even know they're up here.
our Scarlet Crusade guys to replenish your energy. Okay, well, that's what we're going to do. go back. Let's do it again. Alright, so we got 10 out of 10 of those destroyed. We just need 25 more guys and then we'll be done. Just a few more. credit for these? Like, we should be getting these guys. I think we've destroyed, I mean, Scarlet Soldiers, we've... Like, we're not getting credit for them. Like, what's going on here? It's weird. Let's reload our UI. Alright, let's open up our quest. Yeah, complete. Okay, very good. Parachute out of here. Kneel, champion. I place this helm upon your head to complete your terrifying visage. Any that dare look upon your dark countenance will know that death comes. Let none stand so boldly against your king so as to face your merciless wrath spear. There remains only one final task. The Lich King looks west. Light's Hope Chapel. The Scarlet Enclave is no more. What remains of the Scarlet Crusade will be dealt with in Northrend. We now turn all of our efforts to Light's Hope Chapel. No longer will this affront to your master be allowed to exist. I've issued my final command. Scourge Commander Thalinor waits for your arrival at the edge of the Bowman Mill. Go northwest through the cave into the noxious glade and take the path leading out of the glade to the mill. Do not fail me, Spear. Alright, very cool. Let us mount up. Put on our shoulders and our new helm. 
And there we are. Little terrifying instrument of death. So we've got forces remaining 300, forces of the Scourge remaining 10,000. Wow. Yeah, this is like... It's basically one big final battle at uh, Light's Hope Chapel. Which I think is pretty cool. You can see like all the Scourge and stuff are heading that way. Oh man, look at this guy. Flesh Behemoth. Dang. You need the High Lord and the other Death Knights are preparing to strike. We will squeeze the last remnants of life out of this place. Oh, yes. All right, the Argent Dawn stands defiantly against us at Light's Hope Chapel. They dare oppose the Scourge, and for that reason alone they must be destroyed. The mighty armies of the Lich King stand ready as the final battle for the Plague Lands approaches. Today we ascend into the immortal realm of Scourge heroes. When you are ready for battle, report to High Lord Darien Mograin. It is the High Lord who will issue the final march orders and command our army armies at Light's Hope Chapel. Yeah, we get to choose either the axe or uh, the sword. And I am a, an axe guy. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. So that's what There's we're going to do. Work to be done. Oh, wait. There we go. Ours is out of question. Only to act. It will be done. Okay. Um, let's see. Is there something going on that we're missing? The life we had is meaningless. Is I wonder if immersion is broken. A lot of add-ons have been doing this uh, since, uh, you know, since the uh, the release of Wrath Classic. So we're gonna just disable immersion right now and uh, go in here. The light of dawn. Okay, so nope. Is there someone we have to talk to? Oh no, that's right. He he tells us four minutes until the battle begins. Alright, I'm actually going to put Immersion back on. Oops, add-ons. Immersion. So now we wait for three minutes. Battle of Light's Hope has begun. Has it begun? Let's just ride off into battle. Come on, let's do it. Just so much talking. Let's go. See, our health is like 35,000, like it's, we get like the strength of Mograin or whatever it is. So basically we become like an NPC with our strength. Pretty impossible to like die.
It's all out bloody warfare. Oh yeah, this dude, we ain't taking him down. He's not even getting hurt by anything we're doing. Looking for more, like, level, yeah, level appropriate guys. Raise our ghoul. He's, it's only right that he gets uh, to come out and play, right? <laughs> It's actually raining blood. You can see it a little bit on the screen. It's pretty awesome, isn't it? Ty, uh, Maxwell dude is definitely uh, being a pain. soon. Bring them before the chapel. All right, so there's going to be some role playing here. I'm not going to really say much. Arthas, you allowed yourself to be consumed by the dark, the hate. 
heat. Feeding upon the misery of those you tortured and killed. Your master knows what lies beneath the chapel. It is why he dares not show his face. He sent you and your death knights to meet their doom, Darian. What you are feeling right now is the anguish of a thousand lost souls. Souls that you and your master brought here. The light will tear you apart, Darian. Save your breath, old man. It might be the last you ever draw. My son. Father! My dear, beautiful boy. What is... Father, you have returned. You have been gone a long time, Father. I thought... Nothing could have kept me away from you, Darian. Not from my home. Father, I wish to join you in the war against the undead. I want to fight. I can sit idle no longer. Darian Morgrave, you are barely of age to hold a sword, let alone battle the undead hordes of the I could not bear losing you. against the undead legions. If I die, let me die with you! My son, there will come a day when you will command the Ashworld and with it, meet out justice across this land. I have no doubt that when that day finally comes, you will bring pride to our people and that Lordaeron will be a better place because of you. But, my son, that day is not today. Do not forget. Touching. He is mine now. Self-exposed, Paladin. Nothing will save you. Attack! Darian, and listen.
We have all been witness to a terrible tragedy. The blood of good men has been shed upon this soil. Honorable knights slain defending their lives. Our lives. And while such things can never be forgotten, we must remain vigilant in our cause. The Lich King must answer for what he has done and must not be allowed to cause further destruction in our world. I make a promise to you now, brothers and sisters. The Lich King will be defeated. On this day, I call for a union. The Argent Dawn and the Order of the Silver Hand will come together as one. We will succeed where so many before us have failed. We will take the fight to Arthur's and we will tear down the walls of Ice Crown. The Argent Crusade comes for you, Arthas. So too do the Knights of the Elven Flame. Though our kind has no place in your world, we will fight to bring an end to the Lichian. This I vow. All right. That is the end of that. There will be no atonement for us, Spear. We are forever damned to walk the earth as monsters. While the Lich King may have lo uh, loosed his... Gr loosed... I can't even speak today. Loosed his grip upon us. The specters of our past will forever haunt our memories. We must make amends in the only way we know how. Death. I ask you now to join me in Acherus as a knight of the Ebon Blade. Together, we will destroy the Lich King and end the Scourge. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to grab the axe. Because, yeah, I like the axe. I think it's pretty awesome. Sweet. All right, the haze has been lifted. I can see clearly now as the day that I plunged the Ashbringer into my own uh, heart to free my father's cursed soul. My last memory as a free man. We must take back Acherus from the Scourge if our order is to survive in the new world. I have taught you how to call forth the Death Gate. The Death Gate will return you to Acherus when you call upon its spear. Use it now and meet me at the Acherus. The first battle of the Knights of the Emma Blade is underway. All right, cool. All right, let's uh, get in here. Let's see, we are to call forth uh, the Death Gate. Yep, let's do this. Ah, shoot. Such a long cast. Taking back Acherus. The Lich King has returned to Northrend wounded by the Ashbringer, but the second floor still holds the last of his armies. The Hall of Command has been secured, but the Lich King has left us a little present in the heart of Acherus. The stitched terror patchwork and his and a horde of abominations have taken over the second floor. Use the teleporter to get to the second floor and destroy the scourge forces that remain. Do not engage patchwork alone. You must fight the monstrosity with, uh, with other Death Knights of Acherus. Ghost Spear, you have my strength to carry you. Alright, so we need to uh, kill ten of the Scourge and then uh, Patchwork afterwards. Oh yeah, they have like this... What's it called? This uh, little... Uh, like hook that they use to grab you and stuff. You know what, let's call our ghoul, get him going. Since we are now an Unholy Death Knight, we're the master of, uh, of the ghoul. Spread some disease around. You need 
Yeah, it's not uh, tracking for some reason. It's so weird. We've got seven dead, but uh, Questy's not tracking it. Guys are so annoying when they do this. All right, we got ten out of ten. Now we need uh, patchwork. I think we can heal our ghoul. Yeah, we can with uh, our death coil. We'll chill right here until uh, patchwork comes. here with the rest of the guys. Heal our little ghoul. Sweet, that is taken care of. Well done, Death Knight. The remaining Scourge will be dealt with in short order, and the rebuilding process will begin anew. I have but one last task for you. Where kings walk. You are now, and forever will be, a knight of the Ebon Blade, Spear, but now, but know this, you were once a hero of the Alliance. Darien stares at you. This order must establish allies for itself, if it is to survive. You must represent the Knights of the Ebon Blade to the Alliance. On the platform southeast of me is a portal to Stormwind City. Take this letter given to me on your behalf by Lord Fordring and deliver it to King Varian Rin. Use the portal. Alright, this is where we're going. Going back to Stormwind. And of course we're going to be getting the most warm of welcomes, right? Warmest welcomes. 
Uh, so we'll see. It's pretty interesting how they treat us. <laughs> we get fruit thrown at us. People hate us. How dare you foot set in our how dare you set foot in our city? All right. So we just go to the Stormwind Keep where uh, Varian is. They're disgusted by us, throwing fruit at us. My family was wiped out by the scourge, you monster. Yeah. Alright, we're King's Walk. You have mere moments to live. Varian stares off into the distance. Indeed, old friend. Blood and honor. Varian affixes his gaze upon you. Were it not for this letter from Tyrion, you would be a stain upon my floor. Only an endorsement from one of the greatest paladins to ever live could have ensured your survival. We, we will work together against the Scourge, against the Lich King. Glory to the Alliance. That was a fun, uh, that was fun memories to relive. I hope you guys... As I said before, I hope you guys really enjoyed it, and uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in to the uh, Death Knight uh, Starting Zone uh, experience. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to, to kind of go down uh, memory lane again. Um, as far as the future of this character, I don't know. Um, I wasn't really considering playing um, a Death Knight, um, you know, in the expansion, but I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we'll move forward. Um, I was hoping to kind of want to get my warrior up to um, level. Uh, he's still like level 35 though, so I don't know. I, I'm going to have to do some lots of grinding to get him ready for Northrend in, what is it, three weeks? Two and a half weeks, something like that. But uh, we may continue with Spear um, in, uh, in Northrend as our, our Alliance, uh, as our Alliance guy. Uh, the Paladin, we're going to continue on. Um, so look forward to that when uh, Lich King drops uh, officially and the gates to North Rend open up. We will be questing um, with our paladins. So I'm looking forward to that because I've never seen it on the Horde side. Um, so I am, um, you know, looking forward to that experience. Well, my friends, that's going to do it for today. As always, thank you for taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me. If you enjoyed today's episode and you want more content from yours truly, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'll see you in Azeroth.